Hello, science people, and welcome to another edition of Photoshop for the Scientists. So we got another advanced lesson for you today, uh, where we're going to be talking about actions and batching. So actions are basically just a pre-recorded set of steps that Photoshop will work through automatically to save you the hassle of doing things manually. And batching basically lets you take those actions and apply them to a set of images or a folder of images while you just sit back and relax. Uh, so this is a type of thing that works great for something like cell counting, which I covered in the previous video. Um, and that's exactly what we're, where we will be picking up from. Uh, so if you haven't watched that uh, previous video, you might want to check that out so you know what's going on. Um, but there's one thing I should note is that uh, the record measurements function that we'll be using today is only available in Photoshop CC or Photoshop Extended. So keep that in mind and uh, keep track of what version of Photoshop you're using. Uh, if you're not using this version, uh, the good news is you can still use actions or batching. Uh, you'll just have to apply it in your own special way. All right, so let's get to it. <clears throat> so first thing we want to do here, I I've got my maybe not the same image, but a very similar image of my uh, BRDU stained cells versus my non-stained cells. And we're going to be counting the, well, both the stained and the unstained. Uh, but I don't want to have to click through all of this manually every single time for every image because as quick as that is uh, now using Photoshop, we can make it even quicker and that is what we're looking for. So if we go up to Window and click the Actions uh, menu item here, or also click this little play button over here. This brings up our list of actions. So probably what you'll see is just this one folder called default actions. So what we're going to want to do is set up a new folder and you can call it whatever you like but I'm just going to call this Photoshop for the scientist and hit enter. And now we're going to create a new action so we can click this little new page icon here and we'll call this action cell counting. And we can assign a function key if we want, but I don't really care to do that right now. So we'll say record, and now we're recording. So the good news is it's uh, this isn't recording in real time or anything like that. You can move your mouse around or, well, I guess that's it. But move, move around as much as you like. Uh, but what this is recording basically is all of your clicks and what menu items or tools you're selecting. So all we need to do now is just click the tools that we need to use for cell counting. So if you remember from the previous video, I'm, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly here. Uh, we'll choose image, uh, calculations, we'll choose red and blue, set the offset to zero, click OK. We'll use image adjustments threshold, crank this up like so, get rid of the specs, 230 looks good to me. Let's say filter noise median radius set 10 good looks pretty nice and go to the channels and we'll name, name this new channel brdu positive to keep ourselves organized I'll hit enter go back up here again do the same thing uh, image calculations uh, red blue offset will go minus 100 for total cells hit OK image uh, adjustments threshold same thing again try to pick up the cells and get rid of the junk uh, let's go with that hit OK apply the same filters last time and so oh, yeah let's rename this to total cells hit enter and let's stop right there so at this point, uh, normally I would say we go back and look at our selection and then maybe modify it by hand, uh, maybe if there's some false positives or if we miss some cells, which it looks like there are a couple here. Um, so what we can do in our uh, action here is add a stop function. So it's not going to record when you hit stop, but you can do it by clicking on the menu up here and there's a couple of commands here but what we want to say is insert stop and you can put a message to yourself something like check tracing and then hit OK and so what this is going to do is basically when you're running through your action it's going to stop here and give you that message so you can uh, go and do what you need to do with the pencil tool because the pencil tool is not going to be recorded um, or if you try to record taking out cells with the pencil, it's going to apply the same coordinates of that pencil to every image, which obviously isn't going to work. So if we 
go here and this is sort of the one manual step uh, which you get pretty quick at after, oops yeah so one note here is you want to make sure you're clicked on the right channel and not the RGB channel so we'll erase a couple of these false positives which I'm not going to spend a ton of time on because it's really just not very interesting to watch do the same thing with total cells um, maybe split a couple of these up blah 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 you don't care yeah neither do I but whatever it looks pretty good to me um, so let's pick up where we left off <clears throat> uh, so all we need to do again is click record and that will continue out into the end of our action and let's start up here so we'll hit record and now we go to this channel which is the BRDU cells we want to count and we'll say select color range and select the shadows so this is going to select all of the black um, nuclei open up the measurement log and oh you might want to make sure here that for select data points um, that you want count but you probably also want to put document on for the label and uh, that'll help us for batching later on so just double check that hit record measurements uh, good to go let's uh, deselect deselect go to total cells do the same thing select color range shadows boom boom and hit record measurements again so there you have it there's our BRDU positive cells and our total cells so we can go and stop our action let's close this down for now and I'll deselect again and that should be it for the action so what I'm gonna do is revert the image here to when we first started I can do that by pushing F12 um, and the action will stay right where we left it so just to give you an example of how it works um, we click the title of the action which is cell counting and click the play button so now it's going to go through these steps automatically and again there's that stop message so I'll say stop uh, check out how these tracings looked again uh, the same thing we'll erase the ones that we don't want uh, let's just pretend that that's it and same with this let's erase that guy, that guy split these up anyways you get the idea you'll obviously spend a little more time doing it for yourself but let's say we're happy with that um, now we just click play again and there it goes so there's our counts right there and so that's basically it for the action uh, if you only have a couple of images you can just open them one at a time and work through them like that but what's even better I'm just gonna close this off for now without saving is to batch through them like say you've taken 10 images per condition and uh, you have six conditions so you have 60 of these images you want to work through uh, to make this even faster what we can use is the batch function so if we go up to file and say automate batch uh, what this does here is basically um, it asks what set or what group of actions you're looking for. So these are the folders in the actions panel that we were looking at before. So we'll use Photoshop for the scientist. And then it'll ask what action you want. And uh, we'll choose cell counting because that's the one we just made. So here it's asking for a source. And for this, we're going to choose a folder. And I've just got one on the desktop here of a couple BRDU images. But you can choose whatever folder all of your images are in. Um, so there's a couple of other options here. Uh, include all that. I'm not, I've never actually used override open commands. Um, you can play around with these. Uh, frankly, I just click them all off and it seems to work fine. Destination, I'm going to leave that set for now. Um, you can set a save as you can set it at save and close if you want. And so that means every time it's done doing the action on your image it's gonna save it and close it obviously or you can choose the folder which every time it's finished the action it will um, create a new file name and you can save it wherever you like and put some extra uh, additions to the file name so there's a lot of uh, versatility there but for now I'm just gonna say none and so all we need to do now is say okay so it'll open the first image and start working through hit that stop uh, dialog box and so here's a bit of a problem. Um, when it hits the stop, it says the command was canceled, and it's asking, do we want to continue through the batch or stop the batch? So if we continue the batch, we're not going to be able to uh, modify these tracings at all. But if we stop the batch to use the pencil tool to modify them, 
um, the batch will stop. So we're kind of in, in a rock and a hard place here. Uh, but there is a workaround that I can show you. And so what I'll do is I'll click stop for now and open up the actions panel. And what we're going to do is split this action into two separate actions, and uh, which should work out pretty well, and I'll show you how. So what we'll do is just click the new page or new action icon again, and we'll just call this one cell counting to and hit record or hit OK. And now we're not going to be recording anything, so I'm just going to hit stop. What we're going to do is take everything after this stop command and shift click to select all the steps and just drag them into cell counting too. And that brings everything into this new action. And we can get rid of the stop command now because it's this is just going to be the end of our action and it's going to stop automatically. Um, so if we go back, I'm going to close this off. And now we're going to go back and do the batch again. So we'll say automate batch, same setup as last time, same folder. Again, we'll choose cell counting. So we say OK. And so it's going to go through, uh, I only have three images in the folder, but you'll have as many as you have. And so now you can see they're all open along the top here. And now, we can do, now what we can do is go back and check the tracings uh, for each individual file, uh, modify them as we like. I'm just going to do a couple quick edits as an example here. Um, maybe let's get rid of this one. This one actually looks pretty good. Huh, right here too. Total cells. Yeah, maybe that's being double counted. Uh, I'll leave that there. And this looks like it's got some extra junk in it. Oh, no, it's actually missing a couple. So I'll switch to black here and add these guys in. Uh, these ones are all small, but that's fine. Um, anyways, you get the idea. So let's say now we're happy with all of our edits. What we can do is the second half, which is the counting. And all we need to f do for this, we'll say automate batch. Um, but this time, instead of a folder, what we're going to say is open files. And so that's going to take all of these files that are open along the top and run, which we want to remember, basically the second half of our cell counting action here. So we'll choose cell counting too. And then we'll hit OK. And now we'll go through and perform all the counts. And you'll notice I'm just sitting here doing nothing while it does its job. And you'll see, um, yeah, for each individual file, there's uh, BRDU and total. And like I said, you can uh, export all of these out to Excel to do your further analysis. And you're off to the races. So I think that probably does it for today. Um, you can use, as I sort of alluded to before, you can use actions for pretty much anything or any sort of steps that you find you're repeating over and over again. Uh, anything like layer adjustments or image adjustments, um, brightness, curves, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty handy um, for, for repetitive jobs. So have a play around with it, see how it works out for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try to address them the best I can. But for the time being, I guess we'll <laughs> sign out with the uh, usual, you worked hard to get your data, and uh, I'm here to help you work just a little bit harder to make sure that it looks amazing. All right, well, thanks again for watching. I'm Steve Hawley, and I will see you next time.